This video will be shot in the kitchen where the sharpened knives live. Have you ever wondered why your knives go blunt when they cut only soft food? One day I thought maybe it is due to my cutting board. By common sense, if your board is made of hard material, it may cause the edge to abrade or roll. So we have obtained a variety of chopping boards to estimate the effect on the edge. End grain versus long grain. Long grain boards are also called face grain or end grain. By wood type, hardwood versus bamboo. By plastic type, polyvinyl versus polypropylene versus polyethylene. Polypropylene is also not the same. There are high density polypropylene, low density. I will talk more about chopping board material as we test them. We need some sort of testing stand for controlled load on the knife as the knife slices the cutting board. This stand has a linear roller that will be resting on the spine of the knife. It has a plating for adding weights to exert some load on the knife. how it looks. Next we need a sharpness tester to quantify the change in sharpness, enabling us to compare the numbers and draw conclusions. On the best sharpness tester, the lower the score, the sharper is the edge. Disposable shaving razor score 50 and less on this tester, and a dull knife scores 500. By the way, do you know how to test sharpness with your tongue? A dull knife tastes like metal, while a sharp tastes like blood. <laughs> Knives we use in this experiment are Victorinox Swiper, stainless steel knives, professional knives used by cutters in the meat plants and commercial kitchens, all knives are identical, all knives are out of the box, new, and have factory edge. Edge angle in swiper knives varies depending on the model. This particular model has edge angle of 16 degrees per side, 32 degrees included. First of all, we need to get an idea about the cutting forces required to cut food in the kitchen. By the research in the meat plant, we know that cutting moment peaks to 20 newton meter. Cutting motion is measured in newton meter units. Because one newton meter translates to 0 0.1 kilogram meter, it means that our stand requires a 2 kilogram load. To give you a visual example, we can use this historically first best sharpness tester. After we remove the test fixture part, we can cut some edges on it. I just need something to hold it in place. Do you remember what it is? A fork? How can it possibly remember? It is 200 years old. I knew I would need it one day. Can you make a close up on the scale? Cutting potato scores between one and two kilo on this tester. Let's cut some onion. Closer to 2 kilo. Lots of people cry when chopping onions. 
the trick is to not get emotionally attached. With this experimental setup, we can start our testing. Have you heard the famous last words from scientists? This is a completely safe experimental setup. We start comparing end grain chopping boards to long grain. These boards are made of the same wood, acacia. Acacia Janka hardness index is about 5000, which is near the same as maple, widely used in the USA. The common belief is that when you cut on the end grain chopping board, you cut between the wood fibers and the knife stays sharp longer. Think of the wood fibers as uh, of a brush. So on the end grain board, you sort of cut between the fibers, while on the long grain, you cut them in half. We take initial sharpness reading. Then we give each board 2000 cutting slices and measure sharpness again. Having done 2000 cuts, we take the after sharpness on the sharpness tester. And record the numbers. We have tested the first two boards and the results are shown in the following table. Contrary to expected, we have found no significant difference in sharpness in either board. The long grain board keeps your edge sharp as well as the end grain. To see if the wood type matters, we did exactly the same testing on bamboo. Bamboo and acacia is the most common natural chopping boards material at least in Australia. Wood hardness is measured by Janka hardness index. Acacia Janka hardness index is 5000. Bamboo is much harder. It is 7000. Also bamboo has intermittent nodes. These intermittent nodes in the cutting board are way denser than the rest of the grain of the board. The following table compares test results for end grain bamboo versus long grain. Unlike acacia, the bamboo starts dulling your knife after 2000 cuts but contrary to what you might expect. The bamboo and grain board does, not the long grain. Even when we sliced knife on the nodes in the long grain board, we saw no dulling whatsoever. The common belief that on end grain board, your knife edge stays sharp for longer contradicts to what we've seen in our bamboo cutting test. 
By the way, do you know what is invisible and smells like bamboo? No. Pentafart. Plastic balls. Polypropylene and polyethylene. Plastic balls are everywhere. While the new acetate board was sent to us from Japan by its only producer, Yoshihira. The Yoshihira high soft vinyl acetate cotton board costs like a premium knife and is regarded the most edge friendly. While the common plastic boards would be cheap even at twice their price. We compare the Yoshihira polyvinyl acetate board to linear low density polyethylene chopping board to high density polypropylene board and to low density polypropylene flexible cotton board mat found in budget shops. The following table shows our test results for plastic boards. Let's set the record straight. There is no way in hell you can keep your knife sharp on low density polypropylene cotton board. Specs for these boards often state just propylene. If the board material does not clearly specify high density polypropylene, it is low density polypropylene and it will dull your knife. Similarly, we also tested a tempered glass cotton board from a boutique store. The results are in the following summary graph that represents all the results we've obtained through these tests. Numbers in the summary graph are difference between sharpness after 2000 cuts and the initial sharpness. Edge-friendly cotton boards are over the initial sharpness line, while edge-hostile boards are under. The lower, the more detrimental to the edge the board is. In summary, Edge hostile boards, which include end grain bamboo, low density polypropylene, and tempered glass, the glass is the worst of all for the knife. Acacia end grain chopping board has no advantage over the long grain in keeping your knife sharp, while the end grain bamboo board is definitely bad. Our test results suggest no advantage. In the expensive vinyl acetate and end grain wooden boards, the cheaper high density polypropylene, low density polyethylene, and long grain wooden boards are also easy on your knife. Complete experimental data with all numbers are in the edge stability section of our website, knifegrinders.com.au, and also there. We show additional experiments where we compare resharpened edge to the factory edge and where we also discuss the most exciting and interesting side finding in our research. Edge friendly boards undoubtedly make knives sharper as we continue cutting. For the lack of a better term, we called this phenomenon edge refining effect and discuss it on our website. Are we winding up? Are there if any more knife jokes? And I collect us one. Got a knife for my wife. Best trade I ever made.